Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Nish, a genetic survival game. So this is going to be a bit of a bonus episode for you guys because today marks the official end of our Steam Key giveaway. So after we sort out the winners of that, I thought we'd head back to our pack here since it's so fresh and so new and so clearly starving and we really need to fix that situation. But first, the giveaway, guys. So I just want to thank you guys so much for participating. I never expected this kind of turnout. A grand total of 384 of you guys entered for a chance to win one of these five Steam codes. And it has been so much fun just reading through all of your comments, seeing all of the things that you guys love about the game so far, and just feeling your energy for Nish too. I mean, it is guaranteed that Nish is going to have an amazing launch tomorrow just based on all of this energy that you guys have shown for the game. I wish I could have given each and every one of you a Steam code of your own, but what I ended up doing is assigning all of your comments a number, and then I loaded up a trusty random generator to pick out five of you to send the keys off to. So if you see your comment on the screen right now, then go check out your YouTube inbox to find your key and let me know that you got it safe and sound. If for whatever reason you're having trouble accessing your key, then just get into contact with me and I'll help you out. I have my social media links in the description down below, of course, and if all else fails, you can go to my channel page and look for my email address in the about section. So just remember that these codes will not activate until tomorrow for their early access release on September 15th. So if you try to enter them in early, they will not work. Just one more day to wait, guys, one more day, and then it will finally be out for everyone to play. But that was so much fun to hold this giveaway for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And once again, a huge thank you to the developers for even allowing me to do this. It was so much fun to do, and I would love to do it again in the future if the opportunity presents itself. Good luck on your launch, Nish. I'm sure you will do amazing. But now we can officially turn our attention back to our pack here. Now, as I'm sure you guys are all aware, last time I loaded up the game, I had to start a new one because of the um, new update. So we're back with Adam and Eve here, but we have this huge island to explore now. There's so much space in here. It has to be at least double the size of our old island. And it's currently full of little critters, it looks like. Like all of these little patches of grass are rustling around our pack, so we definitely need to have Adam go out there and investigate those. But um, we'll take a closer look at all of the creatures of our pack right now. It has grown quite a bit. Adam and Eve had three children together. They had their first daughter right here, who's named Mezri. Then they had a son named Rota. And the newest addition to um, the entire pack, I believe, is this daughter right here, Karasi. And they look like three little triplets, don't they? They all look so similar with those dark eyes and those big noses. Um, we found this darling creature stuck in the mud uh, while it was raining at one point, Rira, and she is currently mated to uh, Rota. They had one child together named Kervan Von, which is adorable, and he has those gorgeous antlers on him too. And it looks like she's holding him right now, doesn't it? That is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely adorable. We did find another spit snout um, in the grass before, but unfortunately she was a bit older and ended up passing away before she could have any babies of her own. I like to think that she did lead a full, fantastic life off beyond our pack, so who knows, maybe we'll run into like one of her offspring later on. But right now we do need to take a look at this food situation and all of these things rustling in the grass. So over here we have two patches wrestling and I'm pretty sure that those are the bunnies that we ended up missing before. Rota is currently on bunny duty. He is sitting right on top of their burrow waiting for one to hop out. But once we have enough moves, I am going to uh, move one of our creatures into this grass to hopefully swipe up some of those bunnies. I don't want our hunters to starve in the process because if we don't have enough food to let them move and properly uh, attack these bunnies, then they will end up starving and that will shorten their lifespan. So right now, let's have Eve move out of the nest so she can pick up these berries right here. And then in the next turn, we'll gather up um, our two <gasps> berries. Oh my gosh, Adam! That was a carnivore, are you kidding me? Oh no, I was not expecting that. Oh gosh, that's terrible. Eve, you have to get out of the way. Okay, we need the berries first. We absolutely need the berries because otherwise we will not have any turns to defend ourselves. So we are going to scoot away from this carnivore as fast as possible until we have some food to properly attack him. Um, let's have Eve go way over here, guys, and we'll have her little baby follow her so she doesn't get picked off either. Okay, and now the carnivore's in the dark, so hopefully that means that he can't uh, get over here fast enough. Oh, and there's one of those bunnies down there too by the shore, which is quite interesting, so they can hop all the way down there. Um, we'll have to keep an eye out for them, but we need to skip ahead because, again, we're out of food. 
Oh my gosh, Adam. Oh no, that is a terrible start for this video. That is absolutely terrible. I'm so sorry, Adam. Oh gosh, she was the only one who was actually showing the um, big fangs, though his children all do carry the fangs as a recessive trait. So it is possible that they will be able to uh, carry that on in the future. Um, before we go any further, I actually did want to take a look at the mutation menu again because all of their children currently have that no paw and that's a little bit concerning. We don't really want that passing on all throughout the um, line here. So I thought what I would do is plop the runner leg in place of the big nose. So hopefully that means that the, uh, the no paw will be replaced by the running leg. We're going to give it a try anyway. I mean, most of their children at this point have the big nose, so that would, uh, we probably don't have to worry about that passing on in the future. The big nose helps us in smelling, which is why Eve can kind of like peer into this grass right here on her own without us uh, really, really checking it out first. So the big nose is definitely a help, but oh my gosh, we need to figure out what we're going to do here. Let's grab those berries again. And then I believe you, Rira, are our newest um, attacker at the moment. You have four in strength because she has um, a big body and a ram horn gene as well. So she is probably going to be the one who has to do the attacking at this point. Most of our other creatures are not that strong. Um, her baby is also quite strong, Kervan Von, but of course he's just a baby. So I'm a little bit uh, concerned about having him attack the carnivore looming out in the distance over there. Um, we do need to find more food though, guys. Oh my goodness. Um, Eve, I kind of want you to come into the grass a little bit more, maybe. I could always put her down by the shore and hope that one of the bunnies hops close enough, but I'm not sure if that would work. Um, we're going to plop her in here for now so she can kind of like peer around in this grass in the meantime and then skip ahead again. Oh gosh, Eve, you died of old age, didn't you? Oh my goodness. Well, at least the bunny's there. I am going to pick the berries first so Rota doesn't starve while he um, slices that bunny right there. But let's pick the berries and then we will grab this guy. There we go, guys. <laughs> so now we have three turns to defend ourselves with. Hopefully these guys aren't going to completely pass away in the meantime. Oh my goodness. Um, we should probably move the baby out of the nest. That would probably be a good idea. Then we will bring you over here to um, breed with Rota again so we can have another baby in the pack. And then once again, we have to hope that more bunnies start coming out or maybe that it rains. I mean, that would be excellent if it would just rain for us again. I certainly don't want to have to deal with yet another drought. Um, let's plop her right in the nest and hope that uh, her baby does not have the no paw gene again. And uh, we'll skip ahead because we are once again out of food. So let's see what little baby, oh my gosh, and it gave us rain. This is the good luck baby, guys. Okay, so it looks very much like her mother, actually, and it does not have the no paw. There we go. So Rossi, you have a runner leg and you have the berry paw, it looks like, which is excellent to see. And she also has the ram horns, which is going to help in her strength. Actually, she is a very well-rounded creature as far as our pack goes right now. This is excellent. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so we are actually getting somewhere, guys. Rossi is definitely going to help us out in the future. So let's uh, pick up some more berries over here. We'll, we'll have uh, Rira pick them since she can pick up. Let's see, how many can you actually pick up at a time? You can pick up three at a time, perfect. So we'll have her grab those right up. And then we do wanna get over here to these berries as soon as possible so we can pick them as well. But the carnivore is there, guys. So this is a little bit tricky. Um, there's a lot of rustling grass over here too. And those bunnies are still on the shore. I still see them. Um, I'm going to leave Rota, of course, on bunny duty because he's doing very, very good up there on his own. And let's see, Carvan Von, you are not fully grown yet and um, neither is Karasi. So let's bring, let's start bringing Rira over this way so she can possibly help uh, protect these poor little creatures if they run into any trouble out here. I guess I'll bring her baby with her too since she, since he's uh, so strong and we'll see how it goes guys. We'll uh, put him over here so he can kind of help peek around, try to see where that carnivore is lurking. Um, I don't see him yet so he must be a little bit further out unless he's in this grass right here. Oh, wouldn't that be something? Oh gosh, do you think I should maybe like bring her over here just to check? Um, oh my gosh, it's not the carnivore. It's an adorable little boy, adorable little spotted boy here. Who are you, Kurta? What is that, poisonous? Oh, he has that toxic body, doesn't he? Affects attacker with poison when being eaten. 
Oh my goodness, so this is like a sacrifice here, isn't it? Oh my gosh, so in order for that to actually become like an active skill there, they actually have to be eaten. The toxic body, oh, that is a little bit sad. Oh my goodness, he does have the blue eyes as a recessive trait. He has big ears as a recessive trait. Oh my goodness, okay, so that is that gene that is in the mutation board. If we explore enough savanna fields, we'll unlock that. That is pretty darn cool. Big ears. Oh my gosh, I would love to have big floppy ears on these guys. He has antlers in his recessive slot, which is very good to see because we could uh, possibly carry on the antlers even better with this guy. He has the berry paw, the runner leg, all around. This guy is a very, very uh, useful member of the pack to have. So we're definitely going to take him along with us. And let's think about the future too. Who would he be good to breed with here? Maybe with one of the um, daughters? Let's check out their immunity genes so we know that it won't become a problem. He has F and C. And um, she has B and G, so that's good. And same with them. Okay, so he could breed with either one of these ladies, I believe. He does have the blind eyes. Have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but neither of them do, so I think it'll be okay. What we might do is wait for um, little Karasi to grow up, since they're kind of the same age. That might be um, a cute way to go about this. And maybe we'll see what they can breed. Okay, but for now, we really need to figure out where that carnivore is because I don't want to go all the way over there just to get taken out again. Like, poor Adam. I still can't believe that. So let's grab um, you, Mesri, so you can kind of, like, scoot over here on the outskirts and try to find him. I don't, I don't see the carnivore. Oh, my goodness. So he must have, like, scooted back toward the grass. He's probably waiting to ambush me again, in all honesty. He's probably just lying in wait waiting for me to bring some of my weaker creatures over there so he can jump out and attack them. Mesri, unfortunately, is getting um, close to the end of her life cycle anyway, so this is a little bit worrying, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we'll peek in this grass so we have that available to us. And of course, those bunnies down there again. We do need to make our way down there so we can kind of like pick those guys off, especially if there's any berry bushes down there. Um, I have not checked. So who knows, there might be a whole bounty of uh, berry bushes in the area and maybe that's why they're hanging around. They do like to eat the berries. They do like to pick them off of um, our little bushes here. Okay, so we can grab the berry with this lovely little um, lady there. And oh my gosh, the bunny! <laughs> I almost missed that, guys. But thankfully, Rota is right on top of this burrow, so he's able to grab that guy. That's why he's on bunny duty right, right now, just in case I happen to miss them the first time. Um, so there we go. That way we have four pieces of food and then we can try to um, gather up as much as we can with her because unfortunately she's not very good at collecting. Um, we need to bring some of these guys up there, especially Rira because she can help us with the carnivore situation. So let's move you right here. Um, nothing yet, guys. This is still a little bit worrying, but nothing yet. Um, let's see, so you do not exactly have any means of attacking, it looks like. You only have that toxic body, which is um, only in the chance that you're eaten is it actually going to uh, help us in this situation. So we'll bring your baby, Kervon Von, up here, Rira, so he can help you out too. You can gather that last berry for us, and then I believe we'll start bringing Karasi um, a little bit closer to this area so we can try to find those bunnies. Um, okay, so there's like rocks down here, it looks like. Not really much to uh, look at at the moment. I'm guessing there's probably not a berry bush there, but um, the bunnies are just doing a very good job hiding by the shore. So we have three turns left, guys. I'm not sure what's over here, and it's a little bit concerning. I don't like it being so close to the nest, and especially so close to Rossi, who is an absolute amazing little creature over there. We don't want her getting um, killed off anytime soon. Let's move Rira right here. Um, still don't see anything. Where on earth did it go? Oh my gosh, this is the worst. This is the absolute worst, guys. I know it's here somewhere, but I'm just not sure where. Um, we'll have her look in there, so that's available to us. And I think I'll skip ahead now so we don't completely run out of food if we do have to fight this guy. If he does decide to just ambush our little creatures here. Um, this one should be growing up very soon, possibly in the next turn, and then we'll think about um, breeding him with Korasi. But for now, let's grab these berries yet again, grab the berries, and I feel like maybe we should check out what's over here since it is so close to the nest. Um, we're not moving you from bunny duty, don't worry. And you are really not going to help us if this is a carnivore, but <laughs> we do need to check it out. Um, 
Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Oh my gosh, it's a little girl actually, is me. And there's that claw again, guys. There's that claw that Animeme had. And it even has the um, ram horns. She has a five in strength. She has a normal body, it looks like. And she does have the no paw, but we are working on breeding that out of our line right now. Um, she has blind eyes as a recessive trait, so we need to keep that in mind. But other than that, her traits look very, very good. She has two gray furs, actually, which is nice. That's why she has that beautiful white coat. Oh my goodness, I think this might be the first white um, coated creature that we have ever had in any of our packs. So that is beautiful, isn't it? It would be really nice if we had one of the uh, more rare eye colors on her too. We might need to try to uh, breathe that into the line at some point, but let's move you out here because you are going to be excellent for us in helping us uh, defend all of our nests right now. Let's uh, leave that one extra piece of food right here. There's no bunnies for Rota to grab, unfortunately, just by the shore. We will eventually get to those guys, but I don't want my uh, hunters to all starve off in the meantime. Um, no bunnies up there yet, it looks like. Just berries to collect. If we did manage to take down that carnivore, though, that would help us quite a bit anyway, because they would give us uh, 10 pieces of food. And I do want to at least see where this guy went, you know? Oh gosh, I guess he really scooted off. His home must be like somewhere in this grass over here, I would imagine. So I'm not sure if we're even going to be able to find him right now. I still feel like he must just be lurking around the area. He wouldn't completely leave us, would he? Especially knowing that he could uh, pick off some of the older creatures in our pack, just like Adam. But in the meantime, Kurta has fully grown now, so he can uh, go over to Karasi and breed with her very, very shortly. We'll move you out of the nest, I believe. Should we place this guy over here? Should we place um, their baby on this nest? I mean, it should be okay, right? It should be okay. There's probably nothing in this grass right now, I, I would hope anyway. We'll pop her right over here so she could possibly help with a bunny duty in the meantime. And then you can come over here a little bit closer so you'll be able to breed with Karasi in the next turn. So there we go. Oh, there he is, guys. No, <laughs> of all the times as I'm moving everyone back over there. Okay, so we need to collect the berry so that Rota can grab the bunny and not starve in the process. And now we have three turns worth of attacks here. And unfortunately, he did choose one of our weakest individuals to kind of ambush. So if we can find a way to bring Rira up there, and I'm not really sure if we can because it doesn't look like she has the um, best moving ability at the moment. Um, maybe if I move Mesri out of the way, she'll be able to. We'll move her up there. Um, we'll move Rira over here. And then we'll do a nice big attack, which unfortunately is not going to help us too much now, is it? Now, I think I'm actually going to have to pick one to starve at this moment. And I really hate to do that. I hate to uh, injure any of my pack mates, but uh, Oh gosh, Kurta, would you mind taking one for the team here? Uh, you can come over here and use your berry paw to gather up that little berry right there. And oh my goodness, there are those bunnies, of course, coming out as soon as I move Kurta away. All right then. So Rira, you can use your last turn to finally um, attack this guy again. And let's see, how much damage did that take? I mean, she's pretty darn good, guys. She is pretty up there with um, Animeme the Beast from our last pack. So that's good to see. She is definitely helping chip away at his uh, health here, but we are, we are definitely starving at the moment. So I'm not sure. I think I might pass the turn. And that means that Mesri may just pass away here if he ends up attacking her. Um, Rira is also very close. Kervanvan, you're probably going to be fine, but I don't think the carnivore can reach you anyway. And I do see this cactus back here, and I know that we can grab the berries, but that will also cause us to um, get injured. The cactus, I haven't really played around with it too much in my previous save files. We actually didn't even come across one of these in the last pack because I'm not sure if there's a way to gather up from them without hurting yourself. And like, if we hurt Mesri here, she is probably going to uh, die off. So if you know of a way, if you know of any certain mutation that we need in order to properly collect berries from the cactuses, then just let me know. But for now, I'm going to um, ignore that so we don't end up killing off our creatures sooner than they need to be. Um, oh gosh, guys, I feel like this is the wrong decision here, but I am going to skip the turn because we are down to zero on food. So let's see, is this guy going to completely destroy us? Let's see what happens. Well, there's one. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rira, you are so close to dying right now. This is terrible. Um, let's see. Kervonvon, you grab that berry for Rira. And Kurta can grab this berry for Rira. And then you, Rira, can hopefully finish this guy off. Hopefully. There we go. All right. <laughs> what a menace that guy was. So now we have 10 whole turns to uh, use just from beating that carnivore. And hopefully that means that we can um, gather up some more food in the process as well. But what we wanted to do before, I did not forget, we're going to um, bring Karasi over here, I believe, to breed with Kurta. That was what we decided, right? Because we can't really do these two because they both have the blind eyes recessive trait. So it is very likely that the baby would end up being blind. So what we're going to do is drop Karasi right in the nest and then we will have them breed. So there we go. And this little bunny is certainly getting close, coming out to say hi now, I see. Um, we should figure out who Izmi is going to breed with as well. And actually, guys, if you have an idea of who she should breed with, then just let me know in the comments and maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. Um, she does have the blind eyes, so keep that in mind. And we do have to take a look at her immunity genes as well. Um, but other than that, she has some really nice traits and she is quite uh, strong here with her five strength. So it would be nice to have more little beasts like her, just like Animeem. See, Animeem must be watching over us if this is the case because she has brought this lovely lady into the pack with that adorable claw waving to us as we end out the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!